In this video we want to find out how to calculate this accumulation distribution oscillator and how to use it as a filter for a simple moving average. So let's find out how to do that with MQL5. To get started please click on the little button here or press F4 on your keyboard. Now you should see the meta editor window and here you want to click on file, new file, Expert Advisor from Template, Continue. I will call this file simple IADEA. Now let's click on Continue, Continue and Finish. Now you can delete everything above the onTick function and the two command lines here. We start with an include statement for the file trade.mqh. Afterwards, we create an instance of ctrade. That will be called trade. Inside of the onTick function, we need to get the ask price and the bid price. That is done by using symbol info double, either for symbol underscore ask or for underscore bid. We also create an empty string variable called signal. Afterwards, we need to create two arrays. The first one is for the price data and the second one is for the moving average. So let's use array set a series to sort the price array from the current candle downwards. Afterwards, we define the moving average. That is done by using the IMA function. Now, if you don't know how this works, you maybe want to watch the other videos in this basic course video series. In our case, we use a simple moving average for 20 candles. Let's also sort this one from the current candle downwards. And now we use copy buffer to copy the values for three candles according to the my moving average definition that we have created here and store it in the array. And to calculate the current simple moving average value, we just need to look into candle zero of the moving average array. And that value will be assigned to a variable called my moving average value. Let's also calculate the two values we need to find out if the accumulation distribution oscillator is rising or falling. That is done by using the IAD function for the current symbol and the current period on our chart. We use volume tick as the third parameter. Afterwards, we use copy buffer to fill the price array with price data for 11 candles according to the IAD definition that we have created here. To get the current IAD value, we just have to look for the value of candle zero in our price array. And we get the value for the last IAD by looking into candle 10 of our price array. So now we can define a few conditions. The first one, if the ask price is above the moving average, that is the case when the candles are above the simple moving average line here, that would be an uptrend. And in that case, I would like to know if the current IAD value is bigger than the last one. That would be true when the accumulation distribution oscillator is rising. And if both conditions are true, we assign the word buy to our signal. Otherwise, if the bid price is below the moving average value, like here where the candles are below the simple moving average, and if the current IAD value is below the last one, that is true if the value is falling, that's when we want to assign the word sell to our signal. And if our signal equals sell and positions total is below one, or in other words, we have no open positions, we use trade.sell to sell 10 micro lot. Otherwise, if the signal equals buy, and we also have no open positions, we use trade.buy to buy 10 micro lot. Finally, we use the command statement to output the text the current signal is, followed by the calculated signal. 
Now if this was too fast for you or if you don't know what all the code here does, maybe you want to watch the other videos in this basic series. Otherwise please click on the compile button now or press F7. You shouldn't get any errors here. And if this is the case, please click on the little button here or press F4 to go back to MetaTrader. And in MetaTrader we click on View, Strategy Tester or press Ctrl and R. Please pick the new file simple iadea.ex5, mark the whistle mode here and start a test. Here we are, our little expert advisor is working, it's creating buy or sell signals. And in this little video you have learned how to calculate the value for the accumulation distribution oscillator and how to use it as a filter for a simple moving average. And you have coded it yourself with a few lines of MQL5 code.